know what is going on, man. We back with another video, man. This is death battle, man. This is gonna be Joker versus Giarno, man. Do y'all know any of them people? Giarno? Joker. Joker. Yeah. No Joker. Joker. It's a different type of Joker, though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna see when the video come, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this ain't the ha 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 Joker Batman. You feel <laughs> me? Go ahead, introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. Hello, everyone. I'm Jalisa. You can find me on YouTube at Jalisa's Journal or on on Instagram at Jalissa Jadine. Hey everybody, I'm Belle. You can find me on TikTok at Bell Mama Six Times or everywhere else at Ayla Bell One. Hey y'all, my name is Lady Day. You can find me on TikTok at beautifully underscore outspoken underscore. And y'all go at my song, uh, Real Pretty by Lady Day. It's on all streaming platforms. Hi, my name is Katya. Uh, you can find me at uh, just Katya on in Instagram and on TikTok and follow my uh, YouTube on It's X Katcha. Hi guys, I'm Skylar Donna. You can find me on Instagram at S-K-Y-L-A R underscore D-O-N-N-A. Same for my TikTok, Skylar underscore Donna. Hey guys, it's Cassie G. Make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel at Cassie G, C-A-S-S-I space G. Yeah. You got you. Black Black girl. Girl. You look nice. Body is always tea. <laughs> you know, so okay. see you Yes. Yes. I know that's what I want. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's ooh. what they want to see. Hey, they ain't going to be mad. No cover. <laughs> I, I ain't got no space around me right yeah. now. Hey. Joker versus Giorno. The Phantom Thief of Hearts and JoJo's yes. Gangsta. Yes, He's JoJo. Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze JoJo. the weapons, armor, and <laughs> skills to find out who would win a death battle. Let's get it. Ren Amamiya wasn't prepared for this oh, to happen. When he witnessed an innocent so woman fun. being harassed and stepped <laughs> in, he had no idea her assailant was one of I Japan's most oh, Okay, so y'all know that character. Of course I do. Persona 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all of them? No. <laughs> she looking like, oh, I don't know who that is. Prominent politicians. Poor Ren was forced to leave town, lose friends, and transfer to Shujin Academy. Yes, There's sir. definitely more fun ways to ruin your life. But his run-ins with corrupt authority figures was only just beginning. One might call it a theme. And it wouldn't just it's be short. dealing with your garden variety skill bag so gym <laughs> teachers. Ren and his new oh, friends boy. found themselves in a whole new world. That's the average. Metaverse. Oh boy. Oh, less I'm scary. Having... Yeah, that one. Derived from the works of Carl Jung, okay. this collective unconscious is like an alternate reality so formed from the around. amalgamated thoughts and feelings of mankind. What humans believe, or even what no, they fear, directly cute, shapes it. And inside this crazy mental realm, those who have been corrupted by power and abuse the weak have become evil superpowers, yes. just like how they're viewed by many of their victims in the real world. Victims like Ren and his friends. Ryuji, An, Makoto, Pancakes, and the animal. They may have been helpless against crushing institutional might in the real world, but in the metaverse. I'm putting on little Japanese dolls, if I'm not tripping. Something. That they pulled up. Those who have been corrupted by power and abuse the weak have become evil oh, yeah. superpowers, <laughs> just like how they're viewed by many of their victims in the real world. Victims like Ren and his friends, Ryuji, An, Makoto, Pancakes, and the animal. They may have been helpless against crushing institutional might in the real world, but in the metaverse, they had a way to fight back. Personas. As part of the summoner's inner self, personas can become incredibly powerful spirits. By using their personas to battle their foes in the metaverse and steal their hearts, the source of their moral corruption, Ren and company could cause such foes to repent in the real world. What? So the friends formed a band called the Phantom Thieves, with Ren as their leader, codenamed Joker. And Joker's okay. first persona was the awesome Arsene. Oh. With razor sharp claws and the ability to curse enemies with dark energy, Arsene was an excellent persona to start with. <laughs> but Joker's a wild card. Literally, he can capture as many personas as he wants. He's gotta catch them all because they each have their own crazy powers. From shooting fire, ice, and lightning, to dishing out status effects, healing, and resistances, to lobbing actual nukes at the baddies. So Joker can fight with manifestations of deities like Beelzebub, Odin, and 
Jesus Christ. Wow. He looks way what? different than in the painting. He painting's looks like a penis. Right, Nothing. Jesus. What they look like. I ain't going to say what I'll they just look like. The looks like a penis. <laughs> That's what that is. Next to Jesus' That's what face. That, is. that looks like Jesus yeah. over there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the irony. <laughs> the irony. That is so crazy. A octopus penis and Jesus just. Hang I was out. just about to say, the fact that he's the looking wall. away too. He's like, I don't want to see this shit. <laughs> right. I don't see that part. I don't see that part. Hey, we didn't. We not looking at that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I just I went to church today. I can't be looking at that. Beside <laughs> that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it looked like somebody got an STD right there. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> that. That's, you feel that's, me? that's the one that made it from Human Resources. The one that got cut off. <laughs> y'all know, y'all know. That looks ah, good. That's what wow. I've seen. Oh, hey, <laughs> did you know that a persona is connected to their user's own stamina? So when a persona is shattered, even though it's not like dead, dead, it does rattle the user pretty badly. Well, without his personas, Joker can still rely on his guns, grappling hooks, smoke bombs, etc. Might not sound like much compared to summoning actual Satan, but in the metaverse, perception is reality. No, really, it actually works like that. In the real world, Joker's gun is only a problem. However, with Joker's reputation in the metaverse, this prop becomes a god killer. As the okay. Phantom Thieves' reputation increased, so did their power, simply because that's how they were perceived. Kinda like how Personas are empowered by the social links Joker possesses with his friends. Yes, in the world of Persona, hanging out with your buds makes you stronger. Anime! game! <laughs> At their max, social links can bring a wildcard user back from the brink of death, instilling them with willpower greater than the rest of humanity combined. I guess oh, meticulously on. gardening your friends like a <laughs> sociopath has its benefits. <laughs> hey, <laughs> have a cool one on me. Uh, thanks. Is that beef soda? Ah, looks like our relationship meter's maxed out. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. guess there's no point to us anymore. Later, loser, oh, I'm going to oh. go do untested <laughs> pharmaceuticals and date my teacher. Oh. Wait, date your what? <clears throat> Over the course of his adventures leading the Phantom Thieves, Joker's bonds made him as powerful as the gods he commands. He can dodge Lucifer's Morning Star, which summons an energy beam that travels several light years in seconds. Millions of times faster than light. Or survive a cheeseburger that exploded big enough to eclipse a nebula. Talk about having stomach problems. No wonder Joker can face up again. A cheeseburger. I mean, he, has, he has a lot of okay, stats. I have a question. So they said that he can take anybody uh, persona. How do he take it? Like, do he got to be blasted with it? Do they just got to come close and he yanked like Yaga? How do he take it? <laughs> You know, they go to a certain domain that they can, uh, like, okay, it's hard to explain, but, like, they go, they, like, it goes to the dark realm, and that you can see their physical heart or their persona. What, right? Are you saying that? It's a yeah, real okay. show. You got to go yeah. to the actual <laughs> domain or some or type yeah. of universe or something, because in the real world, And then world, that's where you can steal. His gun don't do nothing. It's just a prop. It ain't right. nothing mm -hmm. in the real world. They have to go to... Their type of domain or whatever. Mm. Oh, um, so it's like, it's Kid like, Go. what's that show called? <laughs> Kid Like Go. This look like Yu Gi Oh. She said <laughs> Yu Gi Oh. That's, that's what this uh, looks like. This it, literally looks like Yu Gi Oh Pokemon put together. Like, what is this? I thought. This I mean, like except except for the actual creatures, they don't. They're not nice. So. I don't. <laughs> gotta catch them all. Some, some yeah. <laughs> they just said, got them catch them all over here. <laughs> Shape all of reality. Like Maruki, who used the metaverse to rewrite all of reality to fit his desires. Or Yaldabaoth, who merged the real world and metaverse together. It was in this battle with Yaldabaoth that Joker upgraded Arsene to create Satanile, the biblical angel of vengeance. With a big Amen. ass gun, perceive this reality, bitch! Its primary attack, <laughs> Sinful Shell, is imbued with what is known as Almighty Energy, which can bypass any defense. Even that from the omnipotent orb, which can explicitly rewrite reality. Yes, very good. Big ass gun whiz. And with a <laughs> shot okay, heard around the world, Joker and his friends prove that you're never too young to change society for the better, no matter how arduous the forces against you may be. If the man is keeping you down, just call up the Phantom D.
thieves to put them in their place. They'll never see it coming. Okay. Okay. <laughs> as far back as he could remember, Giorno Giovanna always uh, wanted to be a I do. I have heard of JoJo's Bazaar, right? That's the name of it. Yeah. Uh, I heard of that. You know what I'm saying? Feels good to be a gangster. Gone are the days of leaving horse heads in your enemy's bed or squeezing their head in a vice till they pop. Giorno wanted to be a different kind of gangster. A more progressive, metrosexual kind of mob boss. A gang star. <laughs> a shy, withdrawn boy on the streets of Naples. <laughs> Giorno's life changed the day he saved a, a wounded star. monster. <laughs> in return, he was rewarded with future protection from abuse and isolation. This act of reciprocal kindness convinced Giorno of the value of the mob as a social organization. If only it was commanded by the right person. Someone like Giorno, all he had to do was was take control of the Neapolitan Mafia, Passione, and their oh, army of superpowered assassins. Yeah, dang, Ambitious? Maybe. Yep. But hey, he's the bastard son oh, of the yep. insane <laughs> vampire douche lord himself, Dio Brando. Who conceived Giorno while possessing Not the, the body of his arch enemy, Jonathan <laughs> Joestar. This technically makes Giorno both a Brando and a Jojo. Hence the name Jojo. Get it? Well, he didn't just inherit the name, but also the Joestar bloodline's power. Giorno possesses a stand, gold experience. Stands are invisible, intangible, punchy ghosts that protect their user and come with incredible superpowers, like stopping time, making fiction into reality, or cooking Italian food. God damn, give me that one. And Giorno's gold experience has perhaps the greatest potential of any stand in the series. With just a touch, it can imbue inanimate objects with golden life energy. Turning them into any plant or animal in an instant and back again. Giorno uses this with maximum creativity, like disguising a gun as a banana so you accidentally blow your own brain. Oh. Yeah, oh. <laughs> you had to give it to a fat person. It's just ironic that he was trying to go on a diet at that time and pick up a banana. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, bro. Come on. He been eating pizza his whole life. You don't know the context. <laughs> he gonna pick up a banana now. Come on, my guy. Right. Jorno is, frankly, a super genius when it comes to gold experience's ability. Like transforming bullets into flesh to heal the very wounds they made. Or changing a brick into a snake that can detect body heat and find a hidden enemy. Or turning his teeth into a special kind of jellyfish that filters out the toxins in the piss he was drinking. I thought I was the only one who did that? Should the object Jorno gives life to be a part of the greater whole, like turning a tooth into a fly, it will attempt to return to its original source. Not only that, any damage Jorno's creations receive will be reflected onto the opponent. Jorno can even imbue living things Ooh. with this same energy. This supercharges the target's consciousness, causing them to outpace their physical body and leaving them totally helpless to counterattack. It might seem like you got 10 times faster, but you're actually experiencing time at a waste lower rate while your body is stuck in the same position. Imagine a Muda to the nuts felt for 20 straight seconds. Forget about it. Especially when you're hitting as hard as Gold Experience. According to the Jojo Veller art book written by the mangaka himself, Gold Experience has a speed rating of A, putting him in the same league as stands like Star Platinum and Silver Chariot, which are faster than light. And although his strength stat is only a C, he can still shatter cars like glass and keep up with A strength stands like Sticky Fingers. Perfect for a merciless stand rush that lasts seven pages long. Daddy Dio must be so proud. With Gold Experience at his side, Giorno joined Passione and rose to challenge its reclusive leader, Diavolo. Wait, 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 wait. Diavolo? Yeah, You're bro. telling me that Giorno, the son of God, battles the devil, just like Jesus, whose full biblical name is Yeshua, or Joshua, Ben Joseph, Joshua Joseph, Jojo. We're moving on. Diavolo's goal was to get his hands on a stand arrow. And when okay. a stand is pierced by a stand arrow, it evolves. So Joe got it first and transformed Gold Experience into the most broken thing in anime, Gold Experience Requiem. 
Requiem stands change the rules entirely. It's almost like they elevate your stand beyond the need for combat. Gold Experience Requiem can, in short, negate any action taken against it and return it to a state of zero, shifting reality back to square one. Let's say I woke up this morning, got myself a gun, and fired it at Jorno. With Gold Experience Requiem, no matter how accurate I am, the shot will always miss because I never fired my gun. That is returned to zero. And also a horrific yes. example of gun safety. This applies to any attack <laughs> made against Requiem, including from Diavolo stand King Crimson, which can infamously skip time, erasing the universe for 10 seconds. And Requiem negated that. It undid time being erased, while well, time was already erased, which meant there was no time to unerase the erased time, and I... Uh... That's right, Boomstick. <laughs> Requiem's ability acts independently of time itself. Sound crazy? Well, Requiem can counter the stand made in heaven, which can accelerate time across the whole universe into infinity. So that kind of range of Requiem's ability is actually consistent. It also reduces your willpower to zero, so you can't even fight back. Even your death can be returned to zero. After pummeling Diavolo into pulp, Requiem prevented him from dying, forcing him to relive the experience of being killed over and over in a series of never-ending alternate universes Whoa. for eternity. Eternity. Just when you thought you were out, Requiem pulls you back in. The second you hear that <laughs> piano start playing, run! And so, Giorno took control of Passione and turned it into the peacekeeping social organization he always dreamed about. With its streets free of drugs, Italy's youth could rest easy. Their hopes looks and like dreams handsome could squidward. be carried into the future on a yeah, golden yeah. wind. Vento Aureo! <laughs> Wiz, you gotta play that mobile game with all the oh superheroes. Oh my part. Who do you think is gonna win? My money is on Giorno. Our set. We yeah, run the deal. Absolutely. Uh, okay. right, yeah, yeah, that was the question. Who do y'all think is oh. gonna win? You feel me? Who do y'all think is gonna win? Giorno. Jojo. I'll go with Jojo. Jojo. Uh -huh. You yeah, I go with my boy. When he talking Go about, you know what I'm saying, basically he could do that, you know what I'm saying, like you not even, sh you, you you didn't even shoot the gun. I mean, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And, and he, he made even the emphasis on the big gun. You see, he made that emphasis prior to it. He got a big gun. He just made that emphasis. He basically told us JoJo going to win this. Yeah. Not the way, the way you paused it, it looks so weird. I'm sorry. It does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> so we ain't got one joker on here nobody going for joker i can't i said i said joker uh, -uh my boy you gotta going do for it. joker yeah if it was uh -huh. the batman joker maybe but nah, 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 I, nah, I ain't wanting that Batman one. I want him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that Joker right there. I, right hey, there. Right hey, there. We about to see. What about you, Jalissa? I said JoJo. Okay. 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 Hey. Let's see. Hey, let's get lit. Let's go. Get through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle. Let's get it. Let's Gold get experience. Go, our set. Giorno Giovanna, your heart is twisted. It is ours to take. Chucky Fantasma, my dreams are yours to take. Persona! <laughs> He'll never see it coming. Checkmate. Hey! Alice! Two miners fighting each it's other? That's crazy. Second stand. <laughs> oh my great. Oh. What's up? Go to your domain, my dude! Go to your domain! <laughs> <laughs> never took the time to understand Come on, Jojo. We cheering for you. Oh, 
All objects given life by gold experience desire to return home. Oh. Wow, he's he's fighting so back. Creates life. I've got to nullify that. Jack Frost, I see. That's one of his. That's one of his stones. Jack Frost, I see. This shock of Fantasma. Is justice. This is a good one. This Really he, you gotta wait for the whole thing. This is before. Checkmate. Hey. <laughs> no. No way. No way. Yes. Hold on. This game. Yeah. I'm done, Dev Battle. Y'all got this wrong, okay? Right, do that don't make no right? sense. Okay, with Dragon Ball Z, he was it supposed makes to win. Sense. He was uh -uh. supposed that to win, not okay? Uh -huh. My boy Joker is the winner. Joker to win. Joker no wasn't winner. supposed to win this. Okay, so y'all got this wrong. I don't know how that happened. No winner! We ain't doing no, any reactions. This is it. Him okay, he has to take off the headphones it. for that one. That ain't make no... First of all, the whole Dev Battle was a fever dream. Okay, <laughs> so I don't even know. That didn't make no sense to me. That makes sense. That ain't made no sense. It ain't made no sense. He can't shoot him. He can't shoot him. So how did that make any sense? He exactly. Like, wouldn't the bullet, okay. Wouldn't have. Wouldn't the bullet have like literally refracted back onto him? Isn't Thank that his you. power? What just happened? Isn't that okay. his power? This is trash. That <laughs> like this. You just saw losers. Trash. You guys are just saw losers. Um, that's all. Uh... I never saw it happening. <laughs> Giorno never had the makings of a varsity death battle winner. This was an absolutely <laughs> fascinating matchup and far from an easy call. Joker versus Base Gold Experience wasn't close though. Sure, Giorno's powers threw Joker for a loop, but Joker and his personas were millions of times faster and could take on universe busters. And okay. there was no doubt Joker could see Giorno stand, considering he could spot similar beings like Shadow. Add in the versatility of Joker's hundreds of personas, and Giorno could get yeah. quickly overwhelmed. But mm. that's where Requiem came mm. in, and the game changed. With Requiem. its ability to nullify any action taken against it, even ones that can affect mm -hmm. entire universes, Joker's regular arsenal was rendered moot. Um, Remember, Requiem could act independently so he should've won. <laughs> so Joker wouldn't be able to avoid Requiem's ability. He'd Thanks. have to beat it outright. Take when the Phantom Thieves face Maruki. The group couldn't resist the reality warping effects of his powers. He even had an ability that nullified actions against him, similar to Gold Experience Requiem. But Joker still had an ace up his sleeve. While Requiem can reduce your willpower to zero, Joker's social links were able to recharge him. And finally, we have Joker's almighty ah. attacks, which could bypass reality warping defenses like the Omnipotent Orb, mm -hmm. the perfect counter for Requiem. And this is actually backed oh. up in JoJo. While Requiem only has one appearance in the manga, it did show up in the game Eyes of Heaven. There, it faced off against the world over heaven, which can overwrite reality to overpower any attack, including Requiem's return to zero. That meant an almighty attack that can bypass reality warping would have the same effect, giving Joker the option he needed to land a killing blow against Requiem's perfect defense. Dio is such a dick, he literally ruined his own son's death battle. Jorna was brilliant, but Joker had the versatility, experience, and almighty power for the final blow. Jorna missed his golden opportunity and had a shell of a time. <laughs> hey, Wiz, you hear what I said? I said, Jorno missed his golden opportunity and he had a shell of a time. The winner is Joker. <laughs> next time on Death Battle. Bowser? Bowser?
subscribe. And, and, oh, look, and Eggman. And Eggman. I'm That's here. Like, for I'm real. here. Bowser versus Eggman. Like, we for show sure on that. You know what I'm saying? We for show sure on that. But what y'all think about that, though? What y'all think about It was rigged. I knew my boy would win. It's W's everywhere, baby. W's it everywhere. In the chat, man. Spell Look, them L's he up. He shot that big gun, and dude stood behind him talking about that. You telling me that he just going to stand there? That's, it was going too slow. Like, it was rigged. That thing was going like that. So he was, was too much into his uh, stands. He was too much into it. He he, he sat there and watched his buddy get hit with that thing. He could have scooted over to the side. Oh, that was like, not realistic. Excuse me. Like, Boom. <laughs> I mean, he's 15. He's stupid. That's he's stupid. Crazy, <laughs> man, okay, oh, man. But y'all hit that light. Hit that saw, man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I guess Nova got this one right. No cop, man. Nova got, got it right. You. Thank you. I, I never you doubted you know for a second. I, she I said, I still buy my man, my man, my man. <laughs> yeah, that is my man. <laughs> so still big does for JoJo, though. No cap, man. Big does for JoJo. No cap, man. Y'all hit that light, hit that sub, follow these beautiful ladies. Thank y'all so much for coming out. We all gang.